I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, a quick tour of like the services that we provide. Um, we're hosted on Meetup, like I said, so maybe just a quick tour of Meetup. Um, and then we, we're on a few different social media services. So I was going to um, demo that for you guys. And then I'll, I'm le I, I'll leave some time for QA at the end, but, but absolutely interrupt me um, if you have any questions on, you know, anytime. Um, let's get started. So South Bay Art, like I've said a couple times now, it's a meetup group. We've kind of fluctuated between thousands of members. And then right now we're at about, I, when I first made this a couple weeks ago, this presentation, we were at about 140 members and now we're up to 160. And we are a group. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure where that description come from, but we, we definitely are a group slash club slash community. Um, it started with me just, you know, uh, looking for, I, I, I start, I got into painting and I, like most things in my life, I don't like doing it by myself. I started looking for other people to paint with, was having a hard time with it. And then, yes, I stumbled across this meetup group finally that did plain air. It had a handful of members and within the week of joining it, the, the, the host stepped down. So I was like, you know, I finally found this group you know, the, the member, the, the host steps down and meetup's got this thing where if a host steps down, you've got 30 days to find a new host or the, the group will get deleted. So I'm like, I've hosted other groups before on meetup. I'll take this over. And like I said, it had a handful of people at the time. And then we've changed it a few times. It was basically just a plein air um, themed group. And so I've changed it a few times and I say I started it, but I, I, I basically took it over and kind of revamped it and you know, change some of the events around and some of the format in 2017. So I've been hosting it ever since. Um, I consider and promote the group as, as basically a social group for artists. And I'm I'm really just trying to build community. I get asked all the time, especially outdoor painting, you know, is this a workshop? Is this a class? Is this is this instructor led? And you know, my response over time is just been that you know this is really just a social group we, you know we we were a bunch of bunch of people that like to get together and paint and kind of hang out with their tribe and and at the end of the day i'm trying to build community um and then the success of the group is basically there's no secret i could tell very easily that if i if i skip a few a few weeks or skip a few events or i'm in, inconsistent in any way the group shrinks and if i'm inconsistent and i host every saturday and every Wednesday in a, in a, in a, in a reliable pattern, you know, the group grows. So um, the, the keys, the keys to the, to growing the group are no secret. You just gotta be consistent and reliable. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, so I'm the host. Um, I'm, I, I, I'll spare you. I, I threw my Instagram link in here. Our, our, the culture in our group is we all share everything over Instagram. So you'll see, I probably got five different Instagram links in here. Um, I work in IT. I'm not a professional artist. Um, um, I, I, this definitely, I don't, I don't want to downplay it and call it a hobby. It's more of an obsession. Um, but, uh, but, but my day job is I, I work in IT. Um, I'm self-taught. I take workshops as frequently as I can. Um, I'm actually tomorrow morning, I'm painting the Carmel coast with, uh, with the work group tomorrow. Um, uh, I paint in the style of representational realism. You know, I, I, I basically do landscapes and portraits and figures, and I try to get get it to close to realism as as possible. Um, I got some notes about my gear, um, but yeah, my main my main gear is I paint with a Strata Mini, and I use water mixable oils. And my goal for the group is just to be part of a fun, safe community. Um, I'll pause there for a second. Any any questions? Super super. Um, so like I said, we started with just plein air painting, um, and we, you know we'd get together and you know four or five of us, and we'd go down to Vasona Park and and we would paint, and it's kind of grown in the last five or six years from we pretty much paint, try to paint at a different location every Saturday, and we have meetups from anywhere from San Francisco to Tahoe to Carmel. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be in Carmel. Um, we added 
about in August of last year, I, I started painting with some folks that, that probably did more portrait painting than, than plein air. And I just got into it. I was terrible at it. I will show you, I will actually show you one picture from my Instagram because I just posted it last week. Um, I was terrible at it. I was embarrassed by it. And I, you know, and I was really embarrassed because when I started, I'd been painting for six years and I just assumed that, that portrait painting would be so easy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm basically a professional. I mean, if you count how many Saturdays I've painted in, in five years and, uh, so on Wednesday night, we, this is Scott, he's one of our models. And I just remember coming home, I was like, I'm just not getting it. I'm, I've been doing this since August now and I'm not getting any better at it. And I got home through the painting on a pile of paintings, you know, from our Wednesday night portrait painting parties. And at the very bottom, close to the bottom, I was like, I wonder if I got the, the, the last time I tried to paint Scott. And so I, I leafed through all those paintings, got down to the bottom. And so this is, this is, this is my attempt at painting him in August. So if anybody ever tells you I can't paint, I'm no good at it. I've never been able to, to draw. Just there's no, I, I, I will say there's no secret a lot during this presentation, but there's no secret to, to, to getting good at art. You just got to keep doing it, you know? And you may, and just like me, I usually go home thinking that I painted a crappy painting, but if you look back over time, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see that, that you'll see that there's growth. Um, you just and it fix. sounds like there's a wonderful mixture of advanced and be, so it's very welcoming to beginning artists. You know, it's a bell curve. We always, at every event, it seems like we have some, some outliers that are, that are professionals and even some nationally acclaimed professionals We've got some beginners and then the core are, are people that have been members of the group, you know, from anywhere from five or six. I still, I still have some people that um, have been in the group as long as I have. Right. And then, but then every event, just at this last event that we had on, I guess it was last night, Wednesday night, you know, we had a couple new artists. It's hard though. So, oh, I, you know, one thing that I have noticed is um, art is hard. And so, um, we get a lot of people that show up a couple times, you know, hit it hard for a month or two. And then, you know, they, they just don't come back anymore all of a sudden. And I used to take it personally, but now after, after hosting this for so long and talking to a few of them and I, and I'll check in with, you know, Hey, I haven't seen you in six months. What's going on. You know, I've come away with it knowing that, you know, art is just hard in, you know, real life takes over too. A lot of people, jobs changes or circumstances changes or they have children or whatever, but, but the, the more, the moral or the, 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 the learning is art, art is hard. <laughs> it's, it's very hard. So, um, so yeah, so, so we started doing portrait and figure painting. I was, I could, I couldn't, just like I couldn't find a, a plein air meetup group. I couldn't find anybody coming out of the lockdowns that had started um, portrait and figure painting again. And just like everything, I was like, well, how hard could it be? So I did a little research, found out that hiring and, and curating models isn't very hard. And I've got models booked all the way out till August right now. So every Wednesday till, till the end of August, and I've got a waiting list started. Um, we do a, a handful of people from the group. They started doing workshops for beginners, um, cause it's pretty obvious when new people join the group, they all kind of have the same, the same issues, you know, they can't mix paint. They're trying to find what the best easel is. Um, they don't know much about, you know, um, composition values, you know, all the things that we learned kind of in the first couple of years, you know, that, that we start painting and, and we definitely have some folks that are, that are, that are qualified to, to at least teach that level of, uh. Of a, of a workshop. And then we have quarterly, I try ab ab about once a quarter to get a, a, a professional prominent um, artist to do a workshop for us. Like I said, tomorrow we're, we're painting the Carmel Coast with uh, Scott Hamill. He's got a three-day workshop this weekend. Um, and we usually get him at discounted rates. This one he's hosting, but I've hosted Scott's workshops before. And for like a two-day weekend, like a hardcore 16 hours of, of demo and, and, and painting, he charged, it ended up being about $300 to each member for, you know, eight or 10 of our members. So 
I, I don't I don't know if you guys know of any better rates, but but that's pretty that's about a third of what what a workshop a two day workshop would normally cost. So I try to do I try to do one a quarter. Um, um, we do other stuff like you, we do other social things like after portrait night, we'll go down to, you know, to BJ's It stays open till 11 and we'll work. We'll try to finish our portraits together or, you know, and, and we, we, we do a lot of things like that where we basically just get, get together and work on our art. It could be restaurants, online bars, vineyards. Um, we, we were doing a lot of online critiques during COVID. Um, and that spawned from, I got a picture up here of us doing, we do show and tells at the end of our plan air sessions and nothing, it, 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 it didn't happen often, but it happened enough to where I basically had to say, okay, no more critiques during show and tell because it's, um, it's a vulnerable thing, right? We're basically like, somebody had an analogy of it's like we're learning to play piano in public or you know reading our reading our journals out loud in public you know painting in public you know and and for some people they didn't like the unsolicited critiques so what we did is we were like all right guys no more critiques during show and tell I personally don't like them either unsolicited and so what we started doing is setting up critiques for people that actually wanted them um we do portrait parties. That's what this picture down here. So we'll get together. The difference between the the these portrait sketchings and the 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 ones from above is we're the model. So we all take turns being the model, and it's and it's fun and silly and and it's timed right. So you have two minutes to do a sketch, and it's also kind of neat to see if you've never been a model before. You know, it's kind of neat to see the way the way people see you. Um, regardless of their skill level. And we do a lot of group stuff. We go we go to museums. If any of our members have shows, we'll try to go see their show, you know, as a group. Um, we go to exhibitions, you know, we we spend now that now that the lockdowns look like they've they've cleared up for hopefully a long time. You know, we'll start going up to the De Young Museum again and and the Legion of Honor and 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 like you, your guys's exhibition, we have we have members that are belong to other groups and clubs or whatever that have regular exhibitions, and we try to try to go support them as much as we can. This year we had a holiday party and Thanksgiving. We we'd come out of a lockdown, you know, around around the holidays, and we there, there wasn't very many people that showed up, but we come out of it, it was like we need to do this more often. So we're going to do more stuff like that. And then for twenty twenty two. You know, as we're going, we want to do more demos and we want to do more workshops. Um, I've added, I'm, I'm playing with adding a Friday. So for um, portrait and figure painting, we do on Wednesdays, but one of our guys is hosting on Friday afternoons now figure painting. And uh, I'm going to host a figure painting my first Friday night at the end of this month. And then through our, um, our, my studio rental is through the Triton Museum, and they've been they've been offering us the ability to do exhibitions there. So we're going to try to put something together this summer um, for a members only uh, exhibition, and then contests and prizes. We haven't done that before, and but we've got a, a bunch of really great artists, so we want to start doing something um, along those lines. So we we don't have it finalized yet, but these bottom two we're, we we started talking about it, and we're excited about it. And these are pictures. So like I was saying, I kind of skipped through my pictures, but um, back, stepping back a little bit, but you can see kind of, this is a typical, these are all from the last few months. Um, I, this one was actually from last Saturday. Uh, this was a pigeon point in um, out, out on the coast. Um, and this was a uh, McClellan ranch in, um, I think it's Cupertino. But um, and you can see we get a pretty good turnout. We're at the end of it, we kind of group group all of our art together, and we have kind of a, a mini like exhibition slash show, you know. And we kind of hang out, and we kind of you know share our art and do show and tells, and and um, and then over here we don't have to go go back to me, but 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 this is another example of we're just getting started with a show and tell. I'm probably yelling at people to you know, hurry up and get your art over here so we can get started. This was the last uh, workshop that we did out in, um, this is uh, by uh, Wilder. I think it's called uh, Panther Beach. 
Um, this is a fun thing. So these two guys, I don't have a picture of them from the front, but this was this was one of our portrait painting nights. And so this is Kai Lung Q and this is Kyle Ma. Um, so so Kai is here, I'll click on his link here. Kai is a super popular um, instructor as well as artist. So he's he's just an amazing artist. And so he was there that night. And he had his buddy Kyle in town who had just won the gold medal for the oil painters of America um, uh, competition. It's a $30,000 national prize. So these guys are buddies. And what they were doing is they were, they were basically having a, uh, a competition among themselves of who could do the best portrait the fastest. So, and then this is John Carrasco who's like a super famous um, Bay area model. And um, it was just amazing to, to, to like watch these guys paint, how good they are. And, and, and of course, of one of the most famous models that I know of. Um, this was last night at uh, the Triton Museum. We had a, a um, portrait painting um, session of about 15 artists. And this is one of our portrait parties I showed you guys before. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of stuff we do. Um, I'm curious for the life drawing. Mm -hmm. um, do the artists chip in to pay the model? I guess or oh yeah. So so I have a I have a pretty good deal for the studio and the models. I get I get it about a half of what they would normally go through through an agency. I just make them an offer. I'm like, hey, this is we're a small group. This is what we're willing to pay. And you know if they, if they're not interested you know, that's fine. Thankfully, there are quite a few people that are interested. I think I've got 40 or 50 models um, in my in my database now. But there is a fee for um, anything that I have a model for. And it's $25 an artist. And between us as friends, I need to, to break even I need about eight artists to show up between the rent and the model cost. And, uh, and like last night, we had 15 or so people. So I what I end up doing is as long as I'm not in the hole over the over the contract for the lease of the studio, I'll give whatever's extra to the model. You know, so um, I have a running balance of about a hundred dollars. <laughs> but um, but but yeah, we do for, for anything that I have to hire a model for, use the studio for. I usually charge twenty five dollars. Um, let's see. I was going to give you a tour of the portal, but I don't think, I think the main thing, the main, I, I would, and so let me go in order. I'm getting, getting off track a little bit. So the membership for the group is $5 a year. And I, I instituted that for a couple of reasons. Um, um, one is the group has gotten into the thousands of members at certain times and when it was free and I work in IT and I'm responsible for mail. And I realized that it's kind of cool to say, hey, my group has 2000 people. But in the background, I know that I've only met or painted with about 20 of these guys. So, and I always felt weird about spamming the whole group, spamming a thousand people to say, hey, we're going to push out tomorrow's event a little bit to, to avoid the rain, you know? And so, um, there's that. And then the, the, the hosting fee for meetup.com is about $300 a year. Um, I've got two, two groups that I host on there. So, um, a couple of my members encouraged me. They're like, you shouldn't be doing this for free. You know, you know, five bucks is totally reasonable and it doesn't seem to be a burden for, for anybody. But the nice thing about it is after the trial period, if they're not interested, you know, the, they just get sloughed off. And so I went from hosting a, you know, that, having thousands of members that I didn't know to 150 people that I've, that I've, that I could honestly say that I've painted with 80% of them, you know, so um, that's cool as well. And then, yeah, I was going to offer. So anybody, anybody from um, the Sunnyvale Art Club, if you're, if you're interested in joining the group, if you, if you shoot me a message during the trial period, I'll waive the fee. Um, I've already made back my, uh, I've already made back my hosting fee for this year. So um, I, I'm happy to do that for you. Um, and then, are you, you. is anybody not familiar with meetup.com? I'm not. Let me, uh, if we got time, how am I doing on time? Um, 
It's eight oh seven, so you have you have time. All right. So let me just show you real quick. So our, the group name is just South Bay Art, and like if you if you're not familiar, it's just Meetup.com, and then you could go up and search here. And I think even if you type art and you're kind of in the Sunnyvale, San Jose area, I think I should come up or oh, go to groups. And then I'm usually like in the top five or whatever, you know, within 10 miles of Sunnyvale and San Jose. So South Bay Art, and then my, my this will look a little different to me than, than, than people who are members, but we have a typical about page. And probably the most important part of this is the events page. So this is just, this is just kind of a dashboard. It has some of the upcoming events, snapshot of the members, my, my, my mug, but um, the most important part is, and this is the one that I even bookmark is the events page. And this, I don't use too much, but I like the calendar view. And uh, like, as you can see, so this is April and I try to book out a month or so in advance just so that my schedule is organized, but, but just so that the members know what's going on as well. And then, so Wednesday nights, I, I have, like I said, portrait, portrait or figure painting and I usually put the model like so this was Emily so for and th there's some debate about whether or not I should tell people who the, mo the model is going to be or not or let it be a surprise um, but but if you click on any of the events it'll tell you you know I usually put we change the time to 6 30 from seven o'clock I put the model's name and in, and in, in, you know Instagram but um, the nice thing about it too is um, you can see there's a discussion board for each event that doesn't spam the whole group. It's specific, so um, you know I could I could put a note in here and say, hey, I'll, looks like it's going to be a big group tonight. You know, I'll be there early if anybody wants to get set up early. You know, things like that. Um, And then, so like I said, Wednesdays is pretty much portrait or figure painting. Saturdays, you can see every Saturday I've got an event and I, I uh, put the location and, and, you know, what, what we're doing. Sometimes it's not plein air. And then, so today we actually, or tomorrow, Clemson, one of my members is going to host a, a figure painting session at one. And then I've, got one of my hosts that's actually hosting an event while I'm away in Felton. But anyways, here's the, here's the schedule. Um, photos. I think there's 3000 photos over the last five years. Like you can see for all of the events, people can go in afterwards and post and post pictures from it. Um, discussions we don't use at all. When we get to, I've got a social media slide. I'll show you cut the places that we use for discussion, but I've never had anybody respond to anything I've ever put in here, so we don't really use it. But anyways, that's the that's the portal. And then, like I said, if you guys join anytime during the trial period, just hit this message box here and then just shoot me a note and say, hey, I'm, remind me, hey, I'm from SAC. You said you'd waive my fee and I'll give you guys a, a year free. I know it's only five bucks, but... Um, Thank you. Do, do you find that when you do the plein air ones, when it's in public, do you find that people get curious and then they want to join, I guess? Absolutely. I got business cards made up just so, and I give it out to a couple. I've got a, I've just like uh, the, the, the makeup of the group, as far as experience, there's a makeup or, or pattern. Like I've got some outliers that are really have no problem talking or painting in public. And then I've got some people that are kind of shy. They will, they'll, they'll back up to a tree or whatever. So people can't see what they're painting. And, uh, and so I've given the people that have no problem talking cards even to, because people walk up to them and they'll, and they'll say, you know, Hey, is this a class or how do I join or, and, uh, and so, so, so absolutely people come up to us all the time. It's and especially, um, I remember I was squeamish about painting in public when I when I first started and we were painting at really busy places like Vasona Lake and up in the city and, and parks and stuff. And after it takes about a month before you're before you get over it. But even today, like I noticed, like when I first start painting a painting, I'm like, you know, just like all of you, you know, your paintings don't look their best 
that first that first hour or so right and it's like man i hope those guys don't come up and see what a mess this is and uh but but over time you get used to it but but yeah absolutely people come up to us all the time i actually have a disclaimer in most of my events at the bottom where i say uh upcoming um let me do one of my i have a disclaimer basically that says not a disclaimer but a warning don't scare away anybody um take your garbage with you yeah please don't scare anyone away so <laughs> but yeah we paint in public places people outside will generally come up and see what you're doing usually they just compliment and walk by and i have to be honest with you i have i have had to chase people away um you know you know because we are in public and you know people of all sorts come up and yeah i i have it's only happened twice in the in the last five or six years but i have had to say hey you know you're, you're getting to a point where i'm gonna have to ask you to leave um let's see what do i have left um yeah i'm not going to go through metrics the metrics dashboard but i wanted to show you know in the we are growing again now that we're coming out of covid um this is a little misleading because five months ago i had about 1500 members we instituted the fee it dropped down to under 100 and then you know since since february we've grown up to about 160. and then just an idea these are these are in the last year i think the last three months or whatever the size of some of our groups so ardenwood was popular the wineries are popular we pachetti and Costa chancer are, are both wineries uh ardenwood was so popular i couldn't go to the first one um so i i i hosted it again so we hosted it in january there and then and then again in april and uh i couldn't go to the first one but uh the second one was popular as well but just to give you an idea of the size of most of the most of the plein air events are are about 20 people now and then most of the, the most of the like the indoor painting stuff we get any i think i think the last one we had uh 13 people emily was 15 people and there's more than enough space in that room um and then usually i get there early if like usually what we do is if it looks like there's gonna be a lot of people we'll put the people that are sitting and, and drawing on like drawing ponies in front and then we'll put the people that are on tripods and easels behind them oh. and uh and yeah. this sounds so cool i'm wondering part of part of your your thing seems to be you, you seem to be going you guys seem to do plein air paintings at such cool places in the bay area and you know what so i've learned some lessons there I, I i i have a terrible imagination so i always throw it out to people i'm like hey where would you where do you think you know like i have no idea where we're, paint, where we're painting in may so i'll throw it out to the group hey where would you guys like to paint and and but it has to be interesting to me because i've 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 bitten a few times and and i've i've been like i don't really want to paint there but this person seems really excited about it and then i'll schedule it and then sure enough for some reason or another they won't show up and so i and so i would get disappointed so now the the requirement is that i have to i have to want to paint there because i'm i'm hosting it um so if, if nobody shows up at the very end of the day i i i still wanted to paint there so um, but yeah, we, I, I, I'm just like you guys, you know, who wants to paint on the same old place every time, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I was painting at Vasona a lot in, uh, Los Gatos and, and some of the members is like, I think it's time to paint somewhere else, don't you? And I get a lot of flack. I love painting at Pachetti Winery and members, sometimes members will be like, I think we painted at Pachetti enough, but in general, I try, I try to mix it up quite a bit um i i won't paint at the same place more than twice in a year so um so like ardenwood we painted at twice i'm done pachetti we painted at twice uh, i would i i'm not going to paint there again this year um and that was pitching from, point wasn't it cold i mean it was super cold yeah it was super cold i think that's one of these pictures up here um i lost it now yeah you can see we were out of lockdown but we were still you know masks were required but you can see pretty much everybody's got big heavy jackets on this bart's got a, a sweatshirt and a, and a um and a vest on but yeah 
But Pigeon Point is super popular. I could I could probably host there once a month, and we'd we'd, we'd get thirty or forty people there. Um, and then social media, just to close things out, um, Meetup.com. We're on. I've got a Facebook group as well that, that's getting some tr getting some traction. Uh, I wish there was just one place where where everybody was at, but unfortunately there isn't. Instagram. Like I was saying earlier, our culture is all of us at the end and during the session. And we even at the studio, we write our Instagrams on the whiteboard and stuff. Um, and then uh, something new. I was playing a lot of board games during board games online and Dungeons and Dragons online. And everybody um, was using Discord. And let me just pop this open real quick if you're not familiar with Discord. So... In, initially it was just it was games and we were playing like um um cards against humanity and 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 games like that this is all dungeons and dragons and then like some of the podcasts that i listened to i noticed with their patreon they were offering discord servers and like if you're familiar with stefan Ballman, he's a pretty famous artist if you sign up for his patreon he was offering a discord and so I was like, you know what? I love Discord. I've been on it for the whole lockdown. Uh, I'm going to start one too. So basically what it is, is it's channel. So it's, it's, it's group discussions. It, it's community based. And, you know, I've got channels for if people want to talk about plein air and we post all of our pictures in there, um, you know, portrait night, I could put post stuff in there about portrait night. And there's, and you can see there's back and forth, you know, Clemson posted some pictures from the night and what i like about this one is like you know instead of having to wait for me to organize an event on meetup.com this is a place where people could say like you know hey let's do something in san francisco or like i want to paint today or you know um i'm up in the city let's paint or you know hey after we paint at Stowe lake let's go let's go to the museum or something afterwards so this this is basically for impromptu you know hey let's just you know, it's Sunday morning. I don't have anything going on. Let's paint. We've got a channel for chatting about gear and supplies, uh, workshops and stuff like our, a lot of these. So this is Kai's got a workshop on, on, you know, pet portrait, um, painting in a la prima, you know, one of our, one of our guys, uh, um, Najib, you know, he's doing a workshop on watercolor in May, you know, so we post stuff like that. Or if you, even if we just find a video, like this was a video that I took six or watched six or seven years ago, you know, that I think everybody should watch. We have a swap meet, you know, I've got way too much gear. So I was like, Hey, I need to sell some gear before I put it on eBay. If anybody's interested, you know, um, here's what I'm thinking about charging for it, you know, and you can see other people and stuff have added things as well. But, um, and then critiques, this hasn't really gotten very popular, but, but I have a channel if people want to say, you know, hey, I painted this, you know, what do you think? Um, but uh, I think that's, I think, I think that's all I wanted to share. Um, yeah, Q and A. Um, uh, somebody in the uh, chat asked, um, "What I think you might have said so, but what's your source of models?" Oh, so it started with so Kai. I mentioned his name a few times. So he was teaching workshops and stuff, and I just hit him up. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, where do you get your models? And he he hadn't hosted a workshop with models in a while, but he still had some contacts from of three or four models, and then. And then, and then, uh, and then he suggested Craigslist and I was like, Oh, I never thought of that. So, and then we've also used next door. And then now it's to the point where, you know, probably the first 10 models I'd got on Craigslist and next door and then through referrals from other artists. But now, now the models like, uh, Ina yesterday was our, was our model. And she was like, this was great. I had so much fun. If you're interested, I have a friend who models as well you know, they would love to do this. And so now it's kind of like word or mouth, you know, and then just like the plein air locations, I try not to use, I've, I've definitely got my favorite models, but I try not to use them more than I've only been doing this for six months, but I have a goal of not using them more than um, twice a year. You know, John Carrasco, he's famous in every time he, every time he shows up, we get 20 people, you know, 
um, I hate to say it, but um, the most popular models are the most attractive ones. And that's kind of why we had this debate about whether or not I should even be posting who the model is going to be for a certain event. Because if, uh, if somebody isn't, you know, um, as attractive as, a, as say a professional model, I, I could see the attendance drops down to four or five artists where I, it's just as obvious when they are super attractive, you know, or famous, you know, the, 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 the attendance grows. So, um, but, but I'm still kind of in wait and see mode, you know, I, anybody that's pretty much suggested that they'd like to try it or whatever, I'm like, I'm happy to host them. But if three people show up, it's like, well, I probably won't, I probably won't ask them back, especially my wait list is so long right now. I've got, like I said, I've got models booked out till, 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 you know, end of summer. And I've got a wait list of about 10 models. So if they're not super popular or whatever, I just don't, you know. I, I just don't ask them back, Do which sounds just, terrible. I feel terrible because they're all wonderful people, but, but I mean, if, if nobody wants to paint them or whatever. And I would assume for a model, it'd be how long they can pose that same position for how many, is that not it? Or is that, how, how do you do the modeling session actually? Like, do you so, say model, yeah. can you pose for this? And then, or is it something different? No, I post like I post kind of the requirements and and thankfully, not thankfully, but but oh maybe two thirds of them have done it before. Um and especially the references, you know, the 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 the, the models that, that refer other models, you know, they they've done it before. Um but it, but it's weird and there's no I can never tell at the beginning of a session who's gonna be a good model. Or not, and and it's like you say, it's who can who can do the pose. We do twenty five minutes of pose with a five minute break, and if if that's a like I and and but I always say, you know, hey, if twenty five minutes is too long, let me know, and we'll drop it down to twenty minutes with with you know four minute breaks, and uh, and but I can never tell like a, a model before we start whether or not they'd be a good model or not and we have had some that are that like not off you know and we've had some that they can't remember like what they were looking at from from before the break and and uh, and it's hard you know and i always encourage we have a tip jar i always encourage people i remind people how hard it is and and i always i always make a point to encourage people to tip i make a big show out of me going up putting money in the tip jar so that other people are encouraged to do it as well um, it's really hard. And to be honest, we don't pay a ton of money. The crazy thing is they come from everywhere. And like uh, Emily, the model, three models ago, drove all the way out from Sacramento, professional model. And I'm like, why would you do this? You got to, it's, it's at night, you know, drive all the way out here to Santa, Santa Clara and then drive all the way back. She must get home like 1231 in the morning. And like, why would you do this for maybe a hundred bucks worth of t and plus tips, you know, and they just, they love to do it. I've got another guy. So the last three, so it was two models come down from San Francisco and rush hour traffic as, as much rush hour as we have again after COVID. And then, and Emily was from, from Sacramento and they, they just like to do it. They just like to do it. Um, I can't explain it. I can't do it. I've tried, you know, when we do the, the portrait painting night and I've tried and I volunteered to be the model and I could, and I'm like, I would love it if somebody would do a 20 minute pose. Let me see if I could encourage someone else to do it by me doing it first. I could barely do 20 minutes. So it, it's, it's hard work. So if they start cramping and stuff, is there like an emergency break? <laughs> no, we know. I, I, so I, I, I spend five minutes and most of them have done it before. We're all human beings and I know that it's hard work. And I always say, and you know, I always make a point to check in because you never know too. Like I, I made a mistake one time and I know that just tilting your head, just the slightest bit. It's kind of weird when you sit down in a chair and you, you have, you know, one leg, a little different stance than the other that's fine for a few minutes, but like, and I always make a point to watch them. I make sure that their head, you know, is, is not tilted, that their body's not tilted, that their, that their weight is somewhat centered. But one night I forgot. And this one poor girl, she started her pose like this with a little bit of a tilt and a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a rotation. And I, and 
I could tell 25 minutes in, she wasn't going to be able to hold it. You, know, you could already see, you could already see that she was in trouble. And I was like, Hey, I'm sorry, everybody. I know you've all started on this, on this sketch, but we have to start over because uh, there's no way that this model is going to be able to hold that pose all night. And sure enough, they were like, yeah, thank you. I was trying my best. You can see they're, you can see they're already 20 minutes in, they're already sweating. They're already wobbling and, and, uh, <laughs> But no, the, the most important thing is the, the, that the model's comfortable because it's hard. I've had one a couple of weeks ago say, you know, I've been, I've been sitting all day. I'm super tired. I was going to cancel tonight, but I, I didn't want to do that. Is it okay if I stand instead of sit? So of course we're all like, you know, of course, of course that's fine. But, but yeah, no, it's, it's hard. It's super hard work and, um, and they don't, they're not getting paid very much money for it, but, um, but we love having them. Oh, let me look at chat real quick. Was that the only question? There was one more about um, uh, wondering how long the plein air sessions last. Yeah, so they're most of, they're about two and a half hours. What we do is we go, I tell, tell everybody where we paint. I make sure that there's a good map pin. If I've never been there before, I'll go out and I'll make sure that I, I could give good instructions about where we're going to meet. So we'll go out and we'll paint for about two and a half hours and then we'll save that, that the last 30 minutes. So it's all, the duration of the event is three hours, two and a half hours of painting and then 30 minutes for show and tell. And then usually a handful of us will go out to lunch or, or, or grab, a, grab a sandwich afterwards. But um, it, they're usually scheduled for three hour blocks. And there are different times. I, if I had it my way, we'd start at seven in the morning and be done by 10, but um, just over time, we usually start no earlier than nine. And then like Pichetti doesn't open till 11. So, so last Saturday we painted at Pichetti winery and we started at 11. So, um, but, but, but yeah, three hours. And then the same with the, 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 the portrait, the portrait and the figure modeling is their three hour blocks as well. So like for a, like say last Wednesday night, we started at seven, ended at 10. And that gives us for 25 minute sessions, that gives us six, six, six sessions for poses with, uh, with, um, with five minute breaks in between. All right, folks. Well, I really appreciate your time and thank you for letting me tell you all about my, my meetup group. Oops, I don't, you're muted. What's that? Oh, oh Angela's muted. No, I just wanted to say thank you for all of us. If anybody, had, uh, maybe I'll just wait a second if anybody else cause has any questions. I, I think the, the one the questions in chat are the ones, I think I asked all of them. So if anybody else has any questions, but uh, in case they don't, thank you very much. This, this was a wonderful talk. <laughs> and Beautiful. Mary, you, you can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have to do with Angelo. You have to keep starting and hope that you get poured in. <laughs> Um, Ken, can you tell us when we go on Meetup um, if we want to participate in one of the plein air um, sessions? Mm -hmm. um, is there a place to? I know I was probably asleep, but do we? Is there a place to sign up and then you will give us the directions to the location where you're meeting? Yeah, do you mind if I just show you real quick? Sure. Let me share my screen again. Sure. Um, so, so like cost of chance. So, oops. So let me, let me back up even farther. So, um, so if you go to meetup.com, mm -hmm. you go to, you go to your group. So we're South Bay art and that's the URL that I have. And I'll, and I'll share, and I'll share this presentation with you guys. You go to the events. I go to the calendar. And then say, uh, say so the 23rd, so this Saturday is Roaring Camp mm -hmm. in Belton. So you would click on it. And then I'm actually not RSVP to this, but if I was interested in it, um, I would just click attend. Uh -huh. Right. And then that throws you in this list of attendees down here. Uh -huh. And then I, I'm not hosting this one. Um, Cami is, but um, we, 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 over here on the right, it has a pin for the map. We usually have a description, like if it's complicated, we'll we'll throw a note in here. 
you know, if there's a parking fee, we'll throw that in there. Oh. Restrooms is really important. Yeah. So if there, if we are painting at a place like on at the beach or whatever, um, I, I, I try to be as, as, as good about posting that kind of information. Hey, there's no restroom, but there's a restaurant, you know, two miles up the road. Um, you know, we, we have a, a whole session section about what to bring. And this kind of changes over time, depending on where we're going. Like if it's a place that we have to, if there's a, if there's a half mile hike, I'll be sure to say that. Cause we have a lot of painters that use, you know, they have all their stuff in bins or those little rolling uh, carts or whatever with the little tiny caster wheels. <laughs> so if it's going to be a long ways away from the car, I'll try to put a note in there. Um, okay. This is kind of all disclaimer stuff, but um, but yeah, you just find the event and then you click you click attend. Okay, good, good, thank you. You bet. All right, folks. Well, I got to pack for a workshop, so uh, I really appreciate you having me, and you guys were all great. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.